Hey everybody, J3D Tech here, and today we're going to go over how to fix a model that Leechy just can't fix. Right here I've got one model that can't be repaired. If I look here it says, object still has errors that can't be fixed, and there's nothing I can do about it. On this object, it looks fine, but when I actually look at it closer, I can see it's not fine. There's some, there's a little floating thing there that shouldn't be there. That's an indication of some bad polygons. Also, after I hollowed it, there's all this weird internal structure and all these little holes and it's just not, it's not hollowing very well. There's definitely something wrong. This is NetFab. This is the program I'm going to use to fix these STLs. So first thing I need to do is grab the two STLs and bring them into NetFab. Let's uh, import them into the scene. As you can see, it gave me a warning. These parts are broken. So the first thing we're going to do is start a, re a repair script. It's right here at the top. We're going to run a repair script. We're going to do the 11 actions. It's going to take a little while. We're going to run it on both of them. Repair script, repair script. So while these two are repairing, let's show you what's really going on. This is the, the chest. And though it's a, it's a single STL, and it looks like a single object, like anything you could bring into a slicer and slice, in reality, it's actually a lot of smaller objects. So if I bring in polygons you'll see it's 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 many many objects um, all in a single stl and you'd be surprised how often this is the case now when these objects are kind of smashed together like this there's a lot of intersecting parts so if i delete that polygon you can see there's there's a lot of overlapping uh, a lot of overlapping stuff going on the blue you see here means it's the inside of the inside of another box while the orange says it's the outside. And here we've got some weird overlapping structures and things like that. Just not really the best for trying to make a good a good STL that, uh, for 3D printing. Let's go back to NetFab. These are both repaired now, which means we fixed the holes. Uh, and right here it says repaired after it. So now what we want to do is we want to actually make them from being a bunch of uh, objects that are smashed together into a single STL. We want to make them into one actual object. So we do that one is we click on uh, Boolean, make sure to grab one at a time. Boolean, and what we want to do is this right here, which says make all the unified green parts. So this is selected. Um, oops, I don't want to do that. We're going to click on unified green parts down the bottom right corner. And that'll run the Boolean repair job, which is going to be deleting all that internal structure. Once it's done, we can click OK, and we'll do it to the next one. Click on the leg boolean once these are done what we'll do next is we'll import them back into lychee there's one more thing we got to do we got to run another repair job the reason for this is when you bool it it often leaves some damage to the model it's usually enough where you could repair it in lychee but it's best practice just to run a repair script one more time after doing the boolean this one should run faster because there's a lot less a lot less structure, a lot less polygons. And this will also make your files smaller. Uh, these files will be significantly smaller uh, in size because they have a lot less points, a lot less polygons than the originals did. So this one's the the calf is repairing. Let's export the uh, chest. It's going to put it right where it is, but with the repair, the intersection removed and the repair added to it, so we know what we've done to this one. Uh, now that the calf is done, we'll do the same thing to this guy. We'll just export the part as an STL, and we'll save it in the same location as the original. We're back to uh, Lychee here, and let's bring in the new files. All right. Let's see how these come in. They are repaired. I don't have to run a repair script on them. So let's also see what's going to happen here when we uh, hollow these two out. So we're going to run a hollow. Uh, I like to do 1.8 and 1.8 on both of those. All right, so let's, uh, let's just move this over, get a good view of what's going on here. We'll just compare the leg to the leg and the chest to the chest from the repaired versus the non-repaired and the booled versus the non-booled. So as we can see, this already is a lot, uh, lot less just stuff going on on the inside. And even this one at the top uh, should also have a lot less of the extra layers going on. It's just going to hollow a lot better. 
But really down here, this one is really where we can see we can get much better hollowing, much less holes, much less just of this weird structure because these are a bunch of boxes that were just smashed together. That got rid of all that internal structure and just made it a nice solid object with good exterior and, and interior. You can also see this had the the damage right there, which is an indication of some some bad polygons. On this one, it's fixed. So at this point, you know, now I'd be ready to uh, hollow this. I've finished supporting, got in my, my drain holes, and, and print this object out. NetFab can be used for free, and I'll leave a link in the description of the video of where you can both set up an account and download NetFab. Setting up the account initially is a little bit frustrating as they make you go through a lot of little questions and hoops, but once you're set up, you can just use the installer over and over again, and it's easy after that. Hey, thanks for watching, and may your supports always hold true.